Ubisoft says they've received the message loud and clear. And the message is that audiences don't care for the modern message. There's just one problem, Mr. Ubisoft CEO, suddenly ready to recant and backtrack and do what's right. Well, your website still says that's not what you're about. We'll explain right now. Hello folks, welcome back to the place that is changing hearts and minds, dragging Holly weird, and apparently France as well, back to the mainstream mental, the sensible center where money can be made. And yes, we know that's a tall order for France. France, we will do our best to help you though. And Ubisoft is a company located in good old France. Oui, oui. Uh, folks, we're here to tell you that uh, it's not just Disney we cover, and it's not just DEI and wokeism that's decimating the House of Mouse. No, it's more broadly devastating entertainment in every single medium in which it exists. Why? Well, it's clear. Because wokeism and DEI are antithetical to meritocracy. It's not about merit. It's about quotas and ratios. It's about equity and equality of outcome. If nobody's judged based on how they perform, then, well, you won't perform very well at all. And we all know this. You would never hire a team of carpenters to come do something on your house and then say, well, regardless of how you do, I'm going to pay you all the same. You would never do that. And if you did do that, you can expect to have almost nothing done. But that is what has been done across entertainment. Disney, Warner Brothers, now the video game industry, they've all suffered due to this. Today, we're going to take a look at Ubisoft, the latest company to, well, shall we say, fall to their knees and beg consumers, please forgive us. Here's the story. Uh, it's a little, uh, it's definitely off topic, but you guys are all gamers, I know. And uh, if it's okay with you guys, let's, let's talk about this for just a few minutes. And uh, I think we'll get some really interesting commentary here. That is that Ubisoft, yeah, talk about a uh, change of uh, pace, but we'll, we'll talk about this. <laughs> Ubisoft is trying to get away from woke as hard as they can. Now, Agatha is clearly still there, and Disney is still knee-deep or perhaps neck-deep in woke. Ubisoft wants out. This is out of thatparkplace.com. It says, Ubisoft CEO Yves Gilmont claims company's goal is not to push any specific agenda despite company's website saying otherwise. This by John F. Trent. The Ubisoft CEO claims that his company is not pushing any specific agenda despite the company's website saying otherwise. And of course, Star Wars Outlaws is straight in the middle of Ubisoft's problems. Their stock diving, crashing, and uh, clashing with audiences. In a press release where Ubisoft revealed it was revising its expected quarter two net bookings down from 500 to 350 to 370 million euros to uh, due to poor sales from Star Wars Outlaws, who could have seen that coming? Along with announcing a delay for Assassin's Creed Shadows, Gilmont first revealed the company was going to launch a review of itself. He said, in the light of recent challenges, we acknowledge the need for greater efficiency while delighting players. As a result, beyond the first important short-term actions that are taken, the executive committee, under the supervision of the board of directors, is launching a review aimed at further improving our execution, notably in this player-centric approach, and accelerating our strategic path towards a higher performing model to the benefit of our stakeholders and shareholders. Now, they have fought uh, tooth and nail to go full-blown into DEI, and we all knew this was going to happen. Guys, we have watched this now for a decade. We watched what it did to Star Wars. We watched what it did to D Disney Animation. We watched what it did to, uh, you know, everything. And we're in it now with, with Marvel. And the gaming industry decided they were to go full-blown into it as well. He concluded his remarks with this. Finally, let me address some of the polarized comments around Ubisoft lately. I want to reaffirm that we are an entertainment-first company, creating mm. games for the broadest possible audience. And our mm -hmm. goal is not to push any specific agenda. We remain committed to creating games for fans and players that everyone can enjoy. However, Ubisoft's website makes clear it has a specific agenda. And uh, here, here's what the statement is from Ubisoft. Putting diversity and inclusion at the heart of everything we do means providing an environment where employees can thrive, building open-minded communities where players can connect, and creating games that reflect the diversity of the world we live in. We will not accomplish all these goals overnight, just as it takes years of iteration to develop a AAA title. We will only become a more diverse and inclusive company by continuously improving, trying new ideas, and learning from the results. It's, it's a long-term commitment, one that we'll tackle with the same passion and dedication that we bring to our games. Now, I don't have any problem in the world with diversity. In fact, I encourage people to find out uh, all kinds of individuals of all kinds of backgrounds and embrace the humanity that lies within us. But again, Ubisoft seems to not only have introduced quotas and ratios 
or how they're going to pick the people that are going to work for them, not meritocracy, but that seems to have infiltrated their portfolio of games greatly. Uh, Jonas, I'll, I'll start with you. Is this at all a shock? Uh, I mean, we just saw what happened with Concord. We just saw what happened with uh, Dustborn, Star Wars Acolyte, and here we are with Star Wars Outlaws. Another one bites the dust. Your thoughts, Jonas? Well, which aspect are we uh, supposed to be shocked at here? The fact that they are engaging in what is essentially uh, discrimination and therefore illegal in the United States. Uh, they're a French company, and this is I don't I don't know what the Canadian laws are. I think the Canadian laws probably allow for a little bit of racism uh, here and a little bit of sexism, as long as it favors people that aren't uh, white men, white or men, and or. Um, so, yeah, I, looking at these titles and everything that has come out of of Ubisoft lately, it's just it's weird. Um, I, I was watching side scrollers today uh, for a little bit, and, and they pointed Craig, out Craig. You say, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> they pointed out the the cast of characters that are are uh, pushing for like hip hop and and uh, in in a black samurai, uh, and then they show the 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 actual crew that's working on this, and it's all a bunch of white ladies. Yeah, so, so often it is. Just a uh, sea of vanilla estrogen. Culture, uh, how much more can we possibly watch go down in flames from buying into this quasi-religious belief system that is woke before it's all over? Like, how much more of this are studios and companies going to sacrifice themselves for? Yeah, it's almost immeasurable, uh, Pro. And, and I, it's funny because I grossly underestimated the number of uh, video game studios that would fold this year. I set the number at nine. And more than that have already bailed. Ubisoft is setting itself up to be in some severe trouble. I think Jonas and I have talked about the fact that, you know, they could be forced into private ownership, uh, which would force the five guimals out of control of the company uh, by the minority uh, of 30%. Um, but there are many other studios that are just folding up and closing their doors, even within. But, but all of this was predictable studios. culture. We, yeah. we, we've well, predicted all of this. As you said, well, you predicted. Many studios closing. It's actually exceeding yeah. that. Yeah. And the mainstream, the mainstream media, the journalists, the drive-bys, the number of called shares. game reporters, they're not going to come out and say, "Oh well, looks like our theories were wrong. Looks like woke is a bust." Well, they're, they're going to they're going to pile on and, and be hateful towards the audience that won't watch or play what they deem they but, should. But all of this was predicated on a, a faulty study from the very beginning, an onset that decided what the outcome would be before they did it. This McKenzie Group study that has been laughed at now by the financial industry saying uh, this doesn't work and you can't prove it ever worked. And why is anybody still listening to you? And, and, and again, it comes down to control and power. It's easier to control smaller entities and manipulate them with the promise of cheaper money. That's exactly how we ended up in this position in any almost every industry now. But when it comes to entertainment, it's just it's more it's more obvious and easier to spot. And well, in the gaming well, industry, hey. gamers are savvy. They they right now they're seeing the seeing the 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 effects, um, uh, you know that this this kind of ideology has. I mean, nobody wants to play a game that basically went out of its way to uglify the young lady that is very attractive. That's their heroine in the game. Star Wars Outlaws is a flop. They're they're they're, they're estimating net bookings at thirty uh, percent. Culture, less. remember, culture, remember. If you don't like it, don't play it. Oh, you don't think she's well, pretty? What's wrong with you? You're not a red blooded male. <laughs> well, I I have to tell you that 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 kind of. Uh, that kind of, uh, what is it, uh, rhetoric. The kind of rhetoric is what ends up with games dropping the net bookings of, in, you know, in individual games. You just, We're looking you at, don't know what you're talking about. You, you're, oh, you're, I, well, you have okay, no I, idea. I have fa at least that's what I hear. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Let's go. Java, right? <gasps> oh, no. That's a Sarlacc. Guys, this is <sighs> one of, if not my most anticipated game of the year. Anything that's got me going pew, 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 you know, sign me up. I gotta say, the concept of this is enough for me to go, I might even pre-order this. No, it went pew, 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 all right, right into the stock. 
Well, okay, but net bookings, net bookings, uh, th less than thirty percent. They had to come out and say that to their investors today. They had to say we're reducing our net bookings by thirty percent and we're moving a game. Yeah, they want you to believe that their net bookings are going to be less because they're moving the game. They are trying to obfuscate that their net bookings are going to be less because of just the one game, the Star Wars. And it would be far worse if they hadn't moved. Uh, if Culture, they had not you just moved you don't this. read the right news. Uh, crime is okay. down and Star Wars Outlaws is a success. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to tell <laughs> I, you right I, I do now. like the double whammy here, though. Just to, just to say that due to, the, due to the lack of performance of Star Wars Outlaws, we're going to delay Assassin's Creed Shadows. They, they nuked both of them from a yep. Wall Street standpoint in one yep. single statement right there. Hey, like, yeah. Chance what that this in also, the world uh, did you uh, do? They just opened, the world for, were, opened up the whole world for Tencent to just, just, just take over. Chance that this actually impacts uh, Grand Theft Auto, the next one? I Look, I've been saying, and we've heard three different leaks that say that, that it's, it's going to, and then multiple employees on the dev side saying it's not going to be delayed. It doesn't matter. It doesn't come out until fall of next year regardless at the earliest. But it, they have to pull back on the amount of woke garbage that they inserted into a game that does not tolerate any of that kind of stuff. The games, the games themselves, Grand Theft Auto, have, have always been anti-establishment, walking on the side of crime and, and and allowing you to be as irreverent as you want because the characters in it and the characters featured in it are as irreverent as you can imagine. So you know, it, if they if they if they move away from that formula and they Saints Row this, this will be the end of Grand Theft Auto. Well, the gaming I, I, I industry wanna... is third. Real quick, the gaming industry is 13 times the size of film. Streaming we, st streaming doesn't make money, so who cares about it? But we've watched what this did to film and to streaming, that being wokeism. They cannot afford 13 times what we've watched happen to Star Wars, to Marvel, to Disney Animation. Uh, anybody remember Batgirl? No, you don't because it never came out. Lauren, your thought? I'm going to tell you what all the studios are going to be looking at, especially after the last month. They're going to be seeing the performance and the profits, and they're going to start singing a different tune. And that's Space Marine 2. Yep. I guarantee you that is giving everybody a shot in the arm and recognizing that this is working and we can't hide it. We can't we can't disparage it in such a way that the that anybody will take us seriously. That game is going to force change. Very, very well, well said. Let's 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 just arrive at the global revenue for 2020, 2022 alone. Gro global revenue for video games was estimated at three hundred and forty seven billion dollars, and that is mobile gaming driven primarily by women uh, at two hundred and forty eight billion of that total. It's a lot. You There's know, a lot at stake here. The uh, here's the thing: the entire gaming community, the entire gaming industry, knows right now that the jig is up with all of this. They know that this is going to tank them. We've seen enough proof of this time and time again over the last year or two. The problem is they're in the same boat that Marvel's in right now. Concept creation, you know, even longer for video games than it is for TV shows or movies. You know, they started working on projects five years ago that are still you know about to come out five years ago when everyone thought woke was the future and you know now they're going to come out now and they have to come out and they're going to just get steamrolled and so even if they decide today we're going to make this change we're going to you know shift our uh, do what Marvel's doing they fired all their activist producers they brought the Russos back they brought Robert Downey Jr. back well guess what they still have Captain America, you know, Brave New World. They still have the Thunderbolts. They still have Ironheart. They still have all of these things coming out that are just going to piss people off more. And that's what the gaming community is going to experience. And I don't think a studio like Ubisoft can survive long enough to write the ship. I, I don't it's, think it's, so either. I mean, we, we, we've been focusing on this on that game place uh, channel that I am proud to have one of the best teams doing video game coverage ever. Uh, Marvin Amen, is part brother. of that team. Amen. Yeah, Marvin is part of that team. Jonas is part of that team. We've got many other very talented individuals like Loki and Nolan and Space Dave and, of course, uh, 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 Spencer. 
Uh, we've got we've got a group of people who understand video games. We even have guests that come on and do videos with us that are very well informed. Everybody we talk to is looking at this the same exact way now. Sometimes we disagree. Sometimes we have a different take. But we're looking at the potential for just a hint of a game being woke to destroying the game's opportunity for the future. Oh, yeah. They have to pull back. Mm-hmm. They have to pull I mean, back. I mean, just a little hint, just a, a voice actress that they pulled in that I'm not going to overreact to. None of the people on the team are overreacting to. <laughs> but this, this this has been a this has been something we've all been talking about. Yeah, yeah, and and this is this is the um, the the uh, ghost of. Uh, please help me with that, that name. Utai Yote. Yote, excuse me. Yeah, because it is the successor to uh, Ghost of Tsushima. And because of this activist voice actress, people are now taking a second look at this game and being very critical eyed of it. And it may spoil this game if, if, especially if they lean into that kind of marketing, which they well, used I, to do. I, and I think that a lot of, you know, and I had a very knee jerk reaction to it when we were watching the direct Me yesterday. Too. Because I, I looked at it and I saw they took, you know, uh, Jin Sakai, this hero that I played in the first game and got attached to and wanted to continue his story. And they replaced him with a woman. And they if it's a three minute trailer, they don't actually show you that it's a woman until two minutes and 30 seconds into it. They did it as a big reveal as if holding for applause. And that's what you do when your entire game is based around the fact that this is a woman. Well, I'm, and... I'm just amazed at the chasm. I'll tell you, the if you just look at the difference in normal, traditional entertainment versus when it is made through the woke lens, it is the difference in Inside Out 2 and Lightyear. It is the difference in Deadpool and Wolverine and the Marvels. It is the difference in, well, we haven't had a good Disney Plus Marvel show, so I can't really compare Agatha to anything. Uh, isn't that a shame? But uh, I think when you multiply that by 13... You find out why the people behind gaming are freaking out right now. And gaming may be the place where woke finally goes to utterly die in a way that's so public that even the journalists cannot deny it. And folks, we've come to the end yet again. My oh my, how the DEI folks must hate our guts. But we continue to do it because we must, bring you the news in the most accurate way possible. Explaining entertainment, keeping you ahead of the culture curve is the job we have been given. And it is the job we love. All right, folks, the passion that we give, we only ask that you reciprocate in this one way. Click that like button, share, subscribe, click it, stick it to the algorithm as it is the notification bell. Drop a comment down below. Let us know your thoughts. And folks, as always, on the way out the door, we say, because it matters, keep learning, keep growing, and keep having fun.